Oh, hi there. My name's Packrat Matt, and welcome back to my channel. By the time you're watching this, my students will have come back from winter break. It's certainly hard to believe how quickly the break went by. In terms of my experience, I had a really good break. I went up to Minnesota and spent Christmas with my family, and I spent New Year's with a group of about 30 college friends in a cabin in Pine City. I've been spending the past couple days getting my apartment and getting the building ready for the students to return, and I'm really looking forward to this spring semester. So, it's still early in the year, and you want to make sure that those New Year's resolutions actually happen this year, right? Well, I wanted to take today to talk to you about SMART goals, and we can see about turning those New Year's resolutions into SMART goals. So, a SMART goal, what exactly does that mean? We obviously try not to pick dumb goals for ourselves, but a SMART goal is actually based off of the acronym SMART. So each letter stands for a quality that we want to have in the goal in order to help ourselves succeed. And to help us out, we have our little nerdy rubber ducky because today is rubber ducky day. Side note, SMART goal is an example of an actual acronym. There's some things like the SAT test or an ATM that aren't actually acronyms, but people call them that. They're actually initialisms because you say the initials one letter at a time. But I digress. So SMART goals are goals that embody five different principles. The first of which is that the goal is specific. This often means that the goal will be wordy or won't be able to fit on a little slip of paper, but that'll often come to help us out. One common example of a goal that isn't specific is just to be healthy. Now, we have an idea on what that means, but if we don't know exactly what steps we want to take, it can be difficult to get started on a goal like be healthy. The next quality a SMART goal should be is measurable. This is often having specific numbers, specific amounts into your goal. This is really good for tracking progress, so you can see in a given week, in a given month, how you're doing to keep on track. So when I make the New Year's resolution to vlog, I want it to be on a weekly basis because I know that one video a week is very measurable, it's very tangible, rather than just keeping a vlog updated. The A in SMART goal stands for attainable. Now, you want your goals to push yourself towards results or things that you might not otherwise accomplish. However, if you set a goal that's too lofty, you might be setting yourself up for failure right out of the gate. I know that if I were to set a goal of running a marathon by tomorrow, that I just would be doomed to fail because I haven't gone through the proper training. However, if I set a goal that I can accomplish, if it's a smaller task or if it's a longer timeline, then I may be able to break it into smaller steps so that it becomes attainable. Next up, your goal should be relevant. Whether it's personal or professional, it needs to have meaning for you. You can't just choose something because someone else expects you to change in a certain way. It needs to just have that certain something that drives you for the results that you want to see in yourself. Finally, a goal should be timely. You want to create an end date so that you know that you're going to accomplish a goal by a certain time. If you set a goal for a year in the future, you can break that year into smaller time increments to accomplish smaller steps. Plus, by setting an end date, you're saying when something's going to be completed rather than pushing the efforts further and further into the future. So these are the five qualities that I think of when I want to make a SMART goal. I want that goal to be specific, measurable, obtainable, relevant, and timely. There's other words that you can replace for these, but this is what I use. You can also see that different elements can play off of each other. So if a goal isn't obtainable, you can perhaps add in a longer time span to make it actually obtainable. Or if a goal isn't specific, then it might also not be measurable. So let's look at examples and see if certain goals we make may be SMART goals or not. The first example I have is, I want to run a lot. Is that a SMART goal? Well, I do want to incorporate physical activity into my day, so I'd say it's relevant. Running is something that I can do, and I could probably run a lot after some practice, so that sounds obtainable. But the other qualities, it doesn't work as much. There's no element of time, there's no end date. It's not really specific. It is saying running, but a lot is very vague, and it's not really measurable either. So, what do you think, Ducky? Smart goal? I didn't think so either. Here's my next example. 
I want to make 1,000 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by midnight. Now, this goal is timely. It specifies it wants to be completed by midnight. It is specific with saying peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And it's measurable because you can count sandwiches and so I'd know when I'd be at a thousand. But is it attainable? I mean, there's just me and it's getting kind of late. I don't think I could make that many sandwiches just by tonight. But the biggest flaw with this one is that it's not relevant. I mean, there's really no point for me to make that many sandwiches and it doesn't relate to my job. And I don't know what I'd do with a thousand peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So, it doesn't really seem to be that relevant to me. I don't know, Duck. What do you think? Smart goal? Oh, for 2. Let's hope the next example is a little smarter. Here's my last example. I want to maintain a YouTube channel with weekly videos, including an educational component, for a year. Is this a smart goal? We'll take a look. S. Specific. Now, it does say an educational component, and running a channel on YouTube, that seems pretty specific for me. Measurable. Weekly videos, meaning one video a week, that seems pretty measurable. Is it attainable? I mean, there's going to be some weeks that will be difficult to make a video just because I'll be busy, but one video each week does seem pretty attainable. Is it relevant? I mean, I do like to chronicle my life one way or another, and making videos where I talk about my life at least for a little bit does seem relevant to what I'd like to do. And timely. I mean, it talks about having a goal for the year and making videos on a weekly basis so I can already break that year into smaller increments. This does seem like a smart goal to me. What do you think, Duck? I agree. Let's keep the goal, shall we? Well, that about does it. If you have any questions about SMART goals or suggestions on how to make them better, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Ducky and I here are going to enjoy another one of today's holidays, Public Radio Broadcasting Day. See you next week.